Hello everybody, my name is Diego Brando on Magic Online, and today we are going to play some Ephemerate Atog, Ephemeratog, uh, for Flavor of the Week. Uh, so, this is from the most recent 5.0 dump. Uh, it's a weird affinity slash Ephemerate, Ephemery mid-range deck. Uh, with Atog, Fling, or Essence Harvest as the uh, win condition. So, uh, as you'll notice, we got for the mana base, Windscarred Crag, all the affinity lands uh, in our colors. Uh, and then we're running three Springleaf Drum, main board, three Crook Clan Shaman, uh, four Galvanic Blast. 4 Thraven, Spectre, 3 Ephemerate, 4 Drifter, 4 Thoughtcast, 4 Enforcer, 4 Icar Wellspring, 4 Perfect Prism. So, uh, yeah, in the sideboard we have Gorilla Shaman uh, for the Affinity Mirror, Kark Clan Shaman versus Creature Decks, and then pyro <laughs> 6 Pyroblasts, 5 Hydroblasts. So if you're running either red or blue, this sideboard is going to crush you. Uh, not sure what the plan versus Tron is, though Essence Harvest just seems like a good plan against Tron in general. Uh, but yeah, this deck is seems incredibly funky, and I cannot wait to try it out. Uh, there was one other deck, Flavor of the Week worthy, uh, that Caleb Gannon 5 would with, uh, but I'm under the understanding that he's going to be making a video on that anyway. Figured it'd be redundant to have two videos on it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's check out Ephemeratog uh, in Popper, and I will see you in round number one. Alrighty, round number one, we are against Big JC00. We won the die roll, we are going to keep this uh, because it has Atog, Fling, and Artifacts. Uh, but yeah. So turn one, just play out Ancient Den, nothing else, pass turn. Opponent. Island. Very miscreant. Alright, now I'm actually worried about our Atog resolving. Uh, but yeah, so Perfect Prism, we get a C of this in odd. Luckily we have six Pyroblast. Pyroblast slash Red Elemental Blast in the board, so that'll be something. Opponent going to tap out, okay. So that definitely means I Atog. They get a Scred, which we can use our Ephemerate to dodge. Uh, we could also just, yeah. So Atog, run it out, Let's see what our opponent does, the Ash Baron's Cycle, Augur of Bolas, opponent gets in with Fairy Miscreant. Passes the turn. Okay, Springleaf Drum. So, let's start Icker Wellspring. Zealed. Uh, draw Great Furnace. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Getting close. I think I Thraven Inspector. Oh, he's yield. That gets us an artifact token. Move to combat. I should have just left it back. Because now they can create a situation where they. Yeah. That was a mistake. Uh, 
Either way, we can sack the Ecker Wellspring. But that does keep us a little bit farther away from where we want to be. We do have this Ephemerate and Mold Drifter, though, so... Okay. Uh, yep, block like that. Make your wellspring. It was healed. Get a great furnace. All right. Opponent gets in. All right. Cast Mold Drifter gets countered to combat. Opponent does nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Not there yet. Slowly. Alright, opponent. Yep, gets him. Alright, we draw a Kirk Clan Shaman, which isn't really what we're looking for here. Uh, let's run out of another Mold Drifter. Make him spend another counter spell. They do not. Interesting. I'm going to take this opportunity to try and ephemerate just to draw the scred out of their hand. They spell stutter it. Okay. Intriguing. They fire our Mold Drifter. Two damage. Yep. Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. So we have exactly lethal. We just need them to tap out. That's close to tapping out. Ninja, the deep hours. Ready. Sack the ancient den. Poff that. Might as well run out Quirk Clan Shaman. Okay. Let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. Wing it. And we win! Okay! <laughs> yep, opponent went for a risky tap out there. Uh, so they're gonna have pyroblasts as well. Hmm. We're gonna go want all of our red blasts. Definitely. Uh, we can cut all of our Kirk Clan Shamans. Mm -hmm. 
those seem very dead. I said cut them. There we go. And I want some blue blasts. Two blue blasts, cut all our three even inspectors and an ephemerate. Try it like that. So our biggest asset here is going to be how many red blasts we're packing. I'll keep this. It's a slower hand, but we can drop a turn three enforcer, which at least gives them something that they have to deal with. Also, it has Galvanic Blast, which is always nice. Passes. All right, another Wellspring Wellspring is good. They cycle, get another island, play that island. All right, play Wellspring. Wellspring. If they spend a counter here, we'd be more than happy, but. Looks like they do not. We get a thought cast, which we can't actually cast yet. It's a thought not cast. I'm sorry, I'd like to personally retract that pun. Uh, I think we go for this, try and draw the blue source. Uh, we do not draw blue source, but we do uh, get an ATOG. So if we can get that to stick. Augur of Bolas. They get a Preordain. I'll blast that. They spell Star Sprite. Okay. Tog. All right. Yeah, they blue blast it. I'm going to look for a pyroblast. Oh, I draw it. Oh, if I did the mana all wrong. Oh, if I had just played smarter, we still would have had that ATOG. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb. That was an absolutely idiotic sequence of events. Uh, I just hope we can recover from that colossal punt. I shouldn't have played out ATOG anyway. I should have waited till I had more counter magic. They were tapped out, so it was tempting, but yeah. Oops. Again, not leaving up white mana. All right. At least this gives them something that to spend like screds and stuff on, so their hand count gets a little lower. We need blue. We need blue real bad. They ninja. Yeah, ninja connects. I could fling at the ninja, but that just seems pointless. All right. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm not going to play anything into that spray yet. They accumulate more knowledge. Drawing cards must be nice. I wouldn't know. All right. Yeah, no, I played that incredibly poorly. Yep. Alrighty. Another Dark Steel Citadel. More accumulated knowledge. Yeah, I'm going to scoop this one up. Alright, that was embarrassing. Let's try it again. Yeah, this is the problem when going into a league blind. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this. I'm going to keep this. Bottom the blast. Or no, I should have bottom blue blast, not Galvin blast. Whoops. Anyways, we want another land, preferably red source. Alright, spring leaf drum. Pass. Turn. It's possible I should have left in three minutes factors. Turn on these spring leaf drums. Over blue blast. That was a little dumb. Land. Alright, Prophetic Prism is fine. It fixes our mana. They play an Augur Bolus. No cards. That's what I want to see. Alright, we draw land anyway. So we could either evoke a Drifter. Yeah, let's evoke a drifter while they're tapped out. Alright, we draw an Essence Harvest. So we now have two different ways to kill him, which is good against counter magic. Uh, pass turn. Alright, they're getting Ninja out, so we can Red Blast the Ninja. Don't love spending our red blasts like that, but... Oh no, we draw a Galvanic Blast. Sweet. We don't even have to. Unfortunately, can't counter the Augur on the way down. But such is life. It gets a Brainstorm. You accidentally close that Brainstorm. Alright, we get another red source. They play accumulated knowledge. It's the first accumulated knowledge, so it's fine. Opponent. Wait, why did I bring in blue blast? What are they going to red blast? Why would they bring in Red Blast? Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Thought cast. It's a good draw. Need some more of those to get back into this game. Alright, Mirror Enforcer. Icker Wellspring. Ancient Den. Aha, you thought you could get away with that, didn't you? Well, no, I'm going to blue blast it, and there's nothing you can do. There's something you can do. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
I'm not going to waste my red blast on that. They fairy miscreant. They get in for two. Red Blast. They have a Spell Stutter. Alright, but they are tapped out, so Atog off the top is lethal. That's not an Atog. But it's a fine draw. We want an Atog, and we want said Atog to resolve. Alright, Mirror Enforcer's fine. Come on, counter it. They accumulate knowledge. Brainstorm. Digging for it. They counter. Alrighty. That's one more counter down. We need Mold Drifter or other draw twos. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, we're near. Okay, Mold Drifter. Drifter. Resolves. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to leave a blue blast. Wait, no I didn't. Why did I do that? That was dumb. I have prophetic prism. Oh. Damn it. Alright, they get a deprive, which is a big pain. Luckily, we have a couple of draw twos. Damage gets dealt. Or we have one draw two. Oh, never mind. We have two draw twos. Wellspring. Spellstar Sprite. Counters that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alrighty. Well, on to game number two. Alrighty, game number two. Will my, will my play be less awful? We will see. I'm going to keep this hand. Bottom of blast. Opponent. Vault Scourge. Alright, so it's Stompy. This is... Traditional affinity is a really bad matchup for Stompy. We'll see how our affinity is. Kirkland Shaman just absolutely owns them. Oh. Opponent is a fan of the channel. Alright, they get in with Vault Scourge. Play out Nest Invader. Alrighty. Acre Wellspring. Always oh, draw. You'll draw. Alright, we got a Prophetic Prism. That's real good. Oh, and it's got a... Ooh, looks like they're gonna... Big time buffs? Big time buffs. Alright. This is gonna be a hard one to beat. Scratch that. An impossible one to beat, but... You know what they say, you can concede at this point because that's too much. Uh, alrighty. Verse this deck, up a court clan, down an ephemerate, send it back. Hmm. 
yeah, not having access to the other four fours is really not great for us. Alrighty. So, uh, this hand would be nice if we had any red sources. This hand is a little bit better. Yeah, we'll get that to the bottom. The mana seems to be the hardest part of this deck. Play out a Citadel, should have played out C to Synod, that's fine. Details. It's the little things in life. They do not have a turn one play. Alright, Nest Invader. Alright, Kirkland Shaman is good, but let's evoke a Mole Drifter. All right, we draw Windscarred Crag. That is a land. It's not the best land, but it's a land. It's rough, but not the end of the world, because we still have this Windscarred Crag. Okay, that's closer to the end of the world. All right, Prophetic Prism is actually really great. Always yield, Windscarred Crag. It's gonna pass the turn. Hmm. Stompy is quite a deck. I've been grinding more recently with it. Uh, I just 5 0 with it, actually. Didn't get my list published, because it's too similar because I just took Tim's list uh, from the challenge win and swapped out a river boa for a vines of basswood and now I've moved to wild mongrel entirely because there's too much strands but yeah opponent got like kick of vines or something Ancient Den. So, Atog. It's Kirk Clan Shaman, just as a chump blocker. Doesn't have Trample, so that's going to be, that's our out here, is that it doesn't have Trample. If we were on the draw, we'd be dead now. But we're not, and that doesn't have trample. It can be however big our opponent wants it to be, but until it has trample, we're safe. If they try and fight anything, we'll ephemerate it, I think. Unless they try and fight Clark, Clark Clan. Clark Clan. Cool. Uh, Mr. Clark Cran. Mr. Clark Cran Shaman. Opponents in the tank thinking about their lines. Elephant Guide, yep, that's fine. Block with Kirk Clan. 
All right, we get spring leaf drum, which is good. I should have played out the spring leaf drum. That was dumb. Come on, draw lands. All right. Wait, I'm stupid. Could I have had lethal there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Couldn't have had lethal. All right. It's going to play River Boa. That's a pain because that just chumps our ATOG. draw two, we get another ATOG, we draw for turn, we get a Kirk clan. All right. Can Kirk clan get us there? Let's see, so we play Kirk clan. We float two red, sack two artifacts, or sack one artifact. This gets tapped. Or could we just do that? Yep, regenerates, gets tapped, red, blast, blast, and we got there. Okay, that was a rough start from our uh, opponent blowing up a land of ours, but we did get there. This is a mulligan. If it had one more land, it'd be a keep. Uh, this is a keep. I think I can bottom fling. Ready, keep, uh, bottom fling, done, Nettle Sentinel, yep, alright, Essence Harvest, so yeah, bottoming fling would totally worked out, play a Spring Leaf Drum, this is just a little less weak to Gleeful, moves to combat, gets in, 
Because if I Ancient Den Spring Leaf Drum, then they could Burning Tree Emissary Gleeful Sabotage, Conspire it, uh, blow up both. But yeah, just play out a Nest Invader. Take your Wellspring. All right, we draw a Prophetic Prism, which is nice. We don't want them to have Gleeful Sabotage. Anything else is fine. We're gonna get these four fours down eventually, damn it. One of these days. Opponent is going to get in. Leaves back a blocker. Interesting. Wonder what that was for. Hmm. 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 Nell Sentinel. Yeah, I wonder why they left back a blocker. Maybe it was an accident. Because we don't have any way to give anything haste. No, it was to conspire gleeful. All right, so they're gonna blow up our land. Yeah, but they ended up not needing to conspire gleeful. Yep, they blow up the right artifacts. All right, we cannot cast anything past turn. This game is theirs. Yep, or in our case, die and learn. Yep, we take it and we kick the bucket. Well, that didn't go so hot. Uh, this matchup definitely seems worse than traditional affinity. Uh, but yeah, let's go on to round number three. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, round number three. We are against Avum Cumblera. And I'm going to mulligan this. I will keep this bomb or er, no or er, yeah bomb the drum. We have a prism. Unless they're a counter spell deck, we should be fine. They're boggles. Uh, this Kark Clan Shaman might be clutch. Depends on how quickly they can suit up their boggles. It's looking like they're suiting them up pretty quick. Oh no. Hmm. Interesting. Dang, that, now we draw the Great Furnace. Really could have used that earlier. Oh, this feels mean. Please, yes. We can't concede. <laughs> oh, if nothing else. I can at least take solace in that game. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. 
Kirk Clan Shaman. Cut an Ephemerate, I guess. Send it back like that. Yeah, we need the early Shaman, feels like, to get ahead in that matchup. Our opponent also just had a very weak hand. Uh, yeah, so... We should be fine as long as they don't gain too much life. This deck is slow. I'm not sure if Ephemerate, the Ephemerate package has been worth it. We've seen it be fine, but we haven't... I don't know. But yeah, come back when our opponent finishes sideboarding. Alrighty. Opponent deciding whether or not to play first. Uh, we are going to mulligan this. Going to keep this. Bomb the Windscar Crag. Bridal Growth, yep. Kirkland Shaman. Acre Wellspring. All right, we get Mole Drifter. Pass turn. I think that's acceptable. Now let's just blank it. All right. A tog is a good draw. Tog. We can't thought cast, unfortunately. At least not for one mana. We can next turn, though. Alright, they boggle. They boggling. Thought cast. <sighs> Swing in. Pass opponent. Sacks. Umbrella growths again. Anything else? And we win the match already. A little anticlimactic, but hey, a win's a win. On to round number four. Alrighty, round number four. We are against Benjamin13. Uh, this is a mall. I want two lands. Yep, this is a keep. Kirk Clan. Opponent. Swamp. Relic. We don't care about that particularly. Or at all. Thraven Inspector. Pass turn. Um, plays Swamp. Chainer's Edict gets our Thraven. That's fine. Thraven's mostly there to eat Edicts. Alright. Uh, thought cast. Draw two. Alright. Next turn I'll drop a Mirror Enforcer. Opponent's got three cards left in hand. They have pristine talisman, so they're mono black something. Uh, 
uh, probably corrupt control or uh, what you call it the ill-gotten inheritance uh, we will see hopefully we can just outrace them pristine talisman and nothing that is what I like to see Oh, I only need to pay one. All right, mirror enforcer, crack the clue, thought cast for two. Already, we drew another thought cast and a drifter, so we are doing pretty well just as a mid-range deck. Uh, we have two 8-dogs in hand, no way to cast them yet. But yeah, opponent, sacks Relic, draws a card. They exile their own Chainer's Edict there, so I'm fine with that. I like these swamps. Very colorful. Pest? Nope, Tendrils. Alright. Does a decent job of buying them a little bit of time. Uh, let's just <coughs> cast Mole Drifter. Fortunately, cannot cast that uh, Mirror Enforcer. They read the bones. We can feed this drifter to edicts, so yeah, two on top. Duress, that's gonna take uh, probably our prism actually. They should take our prism, so we can't cast these atogs. Yep, they take the prism. Alright, Thoughtcast, Icker Wellspring, Sweet Tog, Graven Inspector, another Mirror Enforcer, move to combat, get in for a bajillion. We sack a Thraven Inspector. I do not see us losing this one. What, they corrupt an ATOG, so we just sack a few artifacts? That might save them from lethal. Doubt it, but it might. Alright, let's begin sideboarding. Uh, and let's end sideboarding. No. Uh, Kirk Clan Shaman seems useless. I guess Gorilla Shaman? We need 7 mana before it does anything, but Kirk Clan just seems useless. Also, it's not impossible we get seven mana. Gonna keep this. It's got mana, rocks. Turn one relic. Alright, we now have too many fling effects. Pass. Prism. Pony. 
opponent. If we draw a drifter, it's not really useful right now. Having a Thraven Inspector is nice. It either eats removal early or just pecks them a little, keeps their life total low. Alright, I'm gonna Thought Cast. See if I can't hit an untapped land. Answer is I can't hit an untapped land. Uh, but that's fine. Attack. I'm guessing they're creatureless. I'm going to blast our own thing just so that Pestilence dies up immediately. Crud, unfortunately we... Oh, I should have thought cast first. Whoops. Thought cast. Alright, we get nothing. Pass turn. Uh, opponent does nothing. Land? Alright, we hit a land. Evoke a drifter. Try and ephemerate said drifter. Get blown out by removal. Blown out in quotation marks. Tendrils, yep. Oh, I'm still a artifact away. Damn Windscarred Craig from Plain Mirror Enforcer. Our opponent should just crack their relic. I don't know what value they think we're getting from it. I guess because we're playing Ephemerate. Prism. We sealed. Thought cast. Tap. Prism. Draw. Pass turn. Yep. All right, they get a mirror enforcer. I'm going to make it so instant speed edicts don't blow us out. Alright, they defile. Acre Wellspring. We still haven't found an Atog, and we're almost the entirety of the way through our deck. I'd love for them to tap out or something. Okay, that works, because now we just blow up there. Relic of Progenitus. 
just for shits and giggles and to deny him a card. Sure, you can get our more mirror enforcer. Draw card. Play out Icker Wellspring. Get Galvanic Blast. Pass turn to our opponent. I told you we might end up at the place where send spending seven mana to blow up Pristine Talisman. We are nearing that place. Alright, Drifter. Alright, we get an ATOG. I'm gonna wait till I er oh no, I can't fling it. Okay, now we just win. Yield. Sack. 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 Just in case they have some sort of life gain. Target, you, fling, you. And we win! Alrighty, that's two of them down. Uh, alrighty, yeah, so on to round number five. Alrighty, here we are with round number five. This hand is definitely keepable, so we're going to keep it. Opponent is Dean Machine. They are on burn. Already. Thraven Inspector. Pass turn. Curse of the Pierced Heart. Alright. We have a bunch of Pyroblasts. Game number two. I think I'm good at Prophetic Prism instead of Thought Cast. All right, we get an ephemerate. Curse the pierce tart, that's fine. Thought cast. Thought cast. Key two offer runner. Interesting that they run another one out into this Kirk clan shaman. Draw a card off Acre Wellspring, Mirror Enforcer, Crack a Clue, Pass.
last turn. Should have gotten in, but details. We need to find Atog and Fling. wipe the board so we can start getting in. We're down to six. Okay, we draw a tog. I think we just evoke a drifter. Honestly. Alright, we draw galvanic blast, but that's not what we need. This Windscard Craig could actually end up being important depending on how garbage their hand is. We have lethal next turn, but that requires us to live to next turn. And that is not a guarantee. As previously mentioned, not a guarantee. Yeah. They got us. Mm. Unfortunate. Uh, luckily, we have five of those. Uh, we can cut Thravens, cut two Ephemerate. Alright, send it back like that. Hope our blue blasts will get us there. This deck's so weird. It's like a synergy deck working on two different levels. I'm not sure it does either of them particularly well, but it's really interesting either way. I'm keeping this because we got two blue blasts and springleaf drum. Hopefully a drifter that we can evoke uh, if we hit another land. Blue Blast. There's nothing turn one that I will Hydro Blast. Alrighty, looks like we are going to be able to... Alright. Thermo Alchemist. I'm not going to do the mana here, because here's what I'm going to do. Well, actually, I should have done it there, because I might evoke. Yeah, no, I don't find uh, Ephemerate, but Blue Blast. I just wanted to be tricksy <laughs> instead of actually being practical. All right. Hydro Blast it. Fag Prism. Alright, got two four fours. What you got, opponent? Alright, they bolt once. Needle drop it. Alright. Thought cast. Alright, we got Galvanic Blast, which speeds up our clock a little bit. Smash to smithereens is rough, but not the end of the world. Atog would be nice.
Firebrand Archer. I'm gonna blast that. Don't love the position we're in, not gonna lie. Atog. Is Atog just lethal? I think Atog is just lethal. Atog? That's not Atog. We need Atog. Or we are dead. Simple as that. All right, we get a Hydro Blast. Opponent. I'll counter that. All right, cast Drifty Boy. We drew an Atog, but we're... Oh no, we have exactly enough mana. Yay! We win already! They didn't even make us have show the fling. Good to note, good to note. keep this hand. We need artifacts. We always need artifacts, but we especially need artifacts. Alright, Drifter... Gets in for one. Counter that shit. Get out of here. Alright. Springleaf drum is nice. I'm not going to sack lands to save here. It's just not happening. Yep, Atog is dead. Long live Atog. Gets in for one. Uh, let's just perfect prism. Draw land? No. Galvanic Blast is fine. Can like... Smash to smithereens. Oh, land. Blast that. Things are starting to look a little grim, though. I'm not gonna lie. Grim, 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 grim. Oh, yeah, no. That's gonna be game. Alright. Well, we had a good run. Two and three. Uh, sometimes you get there, sometimes you don't. But... Yeah, this deck was certainly interesting. 
thanks to us dudes for the deck. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play. Uh, yeah. I have been Diego Brando on Magic Online, and I will see you guys next time.